We are just one week away from the start of NASCAR All-Star Week in North Wilkesboro. Excitement building for NASCAR's return to the historic track. But there are some things you need to know before you get to the track. For example, traffic is going to be crazy. WFNY News 2's Hannah Jeffries explains ways you can prepare. That's right, Lauren. For the first time in nearly 30 years, NASCAR is making the big return to North Wilkesboro Speedway. And while it's been decades of highly anticipated racing, the infrastructure hasn't really changed that much, which is why Speedway and state officials are saying you need to go ahead and plan ahead. That is the key to a perfect race weekend. Check it out. Here are the tips they gave us. Speedway Motorsports, the NCDOT, and the North Carolina State Highway Patrol say they have spent months coming up with the most aggressive traffic and parking management plan in 75 years. The plan includes five key tips to make race day enjoyable for those getting to and from the track. Number one, they say fans need to purchase parking right now, not later, right now. Number two, download a GPS app like Waze and use it when heading to the track for the least congested route. Number three, carpool if you can. Four, plan to arrive early and five, Oh, this is a tough one. Be patient. Another takeaway. Plan your trip ahead of time. The road infrastructure here in the Wilkesboro area has not changed since 1996. We are limited on the roads that we have leading to the speedway. And so it's going to be important uh, to utilize different roadways into this place. Everyone's going to approach on Highway 421, but we have Fishing Creek Road, we have Old 60, we have Speedway Road. All of these are different avenues that lead to North Wilkesboro Speedway. State troopers prepared and pulled from the Tyson Holly Farms 400 race traffic plans, which was back in September of 96 and made improvements to them. Now they're counting on newer technology like a GPS app like Waze to make the difference. There's, there's a lot of great resources talking about the technology uh, that just weren't around years ago uh, as far as using the Waze app, uh, being able to access drive in C to look at uh, the, the traffic conditions that are uh, in place. You know, just having those to, to help facilitate what we have going on uh, is a big benefit to us. Now pay attention to this. I know tens of thousands of fans are coming just to see these professionals drive fast, but that does not mean you can, especially on 421, because the state says they're going to drop the speed limit from 65 to 55 in certain locations. So drive safe, have a good time. For now, live in North Wilkesboro, I'm Hannah Jeffries, WFMY News 2.